This is Kessler. She's the best math teacher I ever had. And this is Kessler. I have to say she's amazing and smart. She helps me with fractions and multiplications. It is very easy for you with lots of practice. We want to know many ways to make the number 10 without using the 10 frame. Does anyone know what one one of Deirdre really is our go-to person. 35 goes here. It goes there. How do you know that? You can go to her for advice with teaching strategies, behavior modification plans, or even lunch coverage. Or sometimes you just need a friendly face to sit and talk to. Deirdre is truly an asset to not only the children she teaches, but to all of the students, as well as the faculty and staff at Washington School. So when I think of a good teacher, I think of Ms. Perez um, because of her dedication and her drive. Mercedes is a teacher that gives her heart and soul to both her students and her colleagues. She is somebody who shares with everyone. If she finds a resource, she'll go to any teacher at any grade level and find a way to help them connect it to what they're doing. Okay, so how many phases of the moon? Eight. Eight phases. Okay, so this is what you're going to do. Ms. Perez is in her fifth year here at Hoover School, and throughout her time, she has been a model of constant learning. She is a learner first, teacher second, and inspires her students on a daily basis to go above and beyond what they are just expected to do. She's here late every night. She's always available to students. All parents and community members go to her for help and support. She really is part of the Hoover community. Lincoln School is very happy to announce um, our Teacher of the Year is Miss Brooke. And she's the consummate professional. Her students have excelled both in the classroom and socially for a great number of years. All right, we're going to take a few turns. We're going to look at this picture. You're going to try to find something that starts with the letter O. I've been with Brooks since day one, 2006. I was her assistant teacher. You are the most dedicated, organized, loving teacher. You always put the students first. I love working with you. You have great ideas. No one, no one deserves this more than you. You are so hardworking and you're great at what you do. Chris McQuillan has a great teaching style and she is a warm and caring teacher. She is also very humble. As a colleague, she's always there to help and share her expertise. And do you have your transition words in there too? Like also interesting, they're probably even on here. Like you're also. She is such a dedicated teacher. She works so diligent with the children and with the parents in her class. She's always on time, she's always prepared. The way she interacts with the other teachers in the building, she's a true team player. And more importantly, she knows each individual child in her classroom. So she's not looking through paper, she's not making general statements, she's very specific with them, which I think is ideal in a first grade class, knowing each child. Mrs. Shulman was the perfect choice for Teacher of the Year at Jefferson School. She's always available to our students and our staff. And Mr. Shulman works tirelessly with the children uh, and their families to make sure that they're successful here at Jefferson School. She's built a lot of great relationships uh, with our staff and she is really not only a wonderful teacher, she's even a better person. Liz Shulman certainly deserves to be uh, Teacher of the Year. She works really hard. She's got a great heart. She will do anything for anyone. There's nobody who cares more about the kids than Liz. And she has a wealth of information. She's really helpful to her uh, partners on the child study team, as well as all the teachers and administrators in the building. I don't think there's anyone more deserving of the Teacher of the Year Award than Jesse Biggins. He's a, a friend, an advisor, someone who you look to for advice. Just a tremendous person to be around. Great with the students, great with the staff. There is nothing that he can't do. Mr. Biggins is one of the most kindest and hardworking teachers at Bergenfield High School. He can easily make your day 10 times better with his witty jokes. He's a really 
but one of the biggest supporters of Bergenville High School and he really advocates for every student and athlete here in BHS. In everything he does, he does so with the purpose to help in whatever he can, whether it be by helping extra sophomores pass the driver's test, helping players recover from injuries, or creating a workout plan for a team. He helps students in BHS be the best they possibly could be. I think the thing that strikes me most about Dr. Sassy is that she really embodies uh, the idea of being a lifelong learner. We often talk about new ideas that she's researched and things she wants to try in the classroom. Just someone who's got on fairly young in her career and finished her doctorate, uh, I think it's an inspiration to all of the teachers that work with her to see her commitment to furthering her education. Dr. Stacy Sassy has been in my life for a very, very long time. I was a student of hers in middle school, uh, folk ensemble and choir, and she was an inspiration then as much as she is right now. She is the reason that I became a music teacher. Um, I just remember being so excited to walk into her classroom every day, and she just really inspired me to want to move forward with music. I always knew I was going to be a teacher, but she was the person that, that really made me want to become a music teacher.